Salamander is really nasty. This is in Pylum. I like I like Salamanders and Pylums. I think they're both good. I think they're both really annoying to, to play against, and I think they're useful when they're on like your side. Um, we got a story point, I guess, for me. Sweet mothership location, Pog. Maybe it's nearby. That's really Pog. If it's nearby, that would be amazing. I don't know if we can fight the mothership right now, but you know, I, I'd like to see if it's nearby. It's up there, yeah. Okay, we'll go back for that later. Like, I don't want to do it right now, but at least we know where it is, and it's not too far off from Lethia. So, when we, next time we go to Lethia and like have some more ships with us, we can stop up there for that. I was a nightmare in a big fight, getting uh, randomly getting arcs and all your ships get disabled. Yeah, they're 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 annoying, man. They they are annoying. I agree. Getting getting pylum just sucks. It just sucks. Same for salamanders. Like when they take your engines out, it's just I just I'm like I hate this game. I'm uninstalling. It's it's just the worst feeling. Defense are we carry the less probes you've looted? The less probes you've looted? Is that how it scales? I knew it scaled, but I just assumed it scaled with your fleet size. That's interesting. Well, maybe I don't want to loot this probe then. I'll loot this 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 one, but we'll probably go up there a little quicker than I was intending then, because uh, I don't want to I don't want to do too many of them. We can your mothership defense. Yeah, that's really cool. That's how defense on all domain stuff skills. Really. You get less loot though if there's less fight. That sucks, but there it makes sense. You know, I don't, I don't want less loot, but I understand it. That's that's a fair enough argument. The game's like we can't give you the good loot because you didn't earn it. Then fine. Did my missiles get in there? I don't know. I think they got in there. I think we missled it up a little. I don't know, man. It's dead. That's all that matters. It died. Why did my oh the flares? They were they were chasing after flares. I was like, why did my missiles go like down? But they were hunting flares. Okay, battle's over. That the the wall of text is all the exp all the ships get. By the way, it's just, it's it'll be like that every time. I think so. It's fine. It's not a big deal. But if anyone's wondering why there's so much text all of a sudden, it's the ship exp being calculated for individual ships. Okay. Uh, did we go up here yet? I don't think so. We'll go up there and then we'll leave. Also, to change the loot per pound motherships this update, so you, get, you always get something good. Yes, I believe it's a catalytic core. A oh, and there's there's a triangle down there. I missed it. It's on the mini map though. It's right there. A catalytic core, a synchrotron core, or a pristine nanoforge, like guaranteed. I think you get one of the three no matter what, which is Pog. That's that is a great change in my opinion. Um, and I, there's another probe. I don't know. We'll, we'll check it. We'll we'll take it. Might as well, I guess. It's here. But um, I really enjoy being able to get a guaranteed Pog item off the motherships. I think that's lovely. Just because those items in particular can be annoying to get sometimes. Like, if you don't have a catalytic core by the time you have the hypershunt up and running, it's like, what are you going to do? It just sucks. You just you just don't get the hypershunt. So I appreciate that they made it a little bit more target farmable. Like, not exactly, but, you know, you can, you can likely get one. If you haven't found one throughout your whole playthrough, you could likely get one if you farmed the motherships. So I like that. I think it's a good change. Um, I, I got something just now. That I wanted to look at, I feel like. Like an item or something. I don't know, man. I don't know. I picked up something I wanted to check out, but I can't remember what it was anymore. We'll scan this. I don't really need to, but we're scanning it anyways. Are there ruins there? No, that's that stuff. I don't think that's ruins. Okay. Are we close to a thousand? I wouldn't mind the money. Yeah, we're close to a thousand. I wouldn't mind getting some cash. Because we need it. We're down to 300k out here. Slowly losing all our money. And we're going to go, not alliances, but accepted. Nope, not accepted, but exploration. Okay, here. And then we'll go from here straight to, uh, oh, it's stress call. I don't need that. We'll go from here to Lethia, and then we'll, we'll sell off stuff, fix up the Cordite, and we'll go home. And by home, I mean the Core Worlds. Lethia is home, but we'll go to the Core Worlds. I call everything going home. I'm really bad about saying that for completely unrelated events. I'll be like, we'll go home while I'm home. <laughs> you know, it just doesn't make any sense, so. I've been trying to break the habit of referring to everywhere that's safe as home. Any planet that doesn't want to kill me, I call home, which doesn't really add up. That doesn't make any damn sense, you know? So I've been trying to break that habit. Domain error probe. Well, it, while we're here, we'll keep searching for him. Like, I'm, I'm not going to leave him behind just because like, it makes the motherships a little easier. I don't, I don't want to lose the loot for the sake of an easier fight later. Survey ship? Okay, it's just that one. That's fine. We've, we've learned a great deal about this one ship. Asteroid field some distance away from the center. 
Uh, probably up there then. If I had if I had to guess, I would guess it's up there. And there's some good stars here. Desert World, Gas Giant, Water World, Tundra World, Barren World, Desert World. Yeah, not bad. Is that a Baron? How many jump stable points? No stable points? Oh, that sucks. I crystal my head out. Good luck with the new run. Enjoy the stars. Thank you, Winter. Thank you for being here, Winter. I appreciate you hanging out today, man. Thank you so much for being here. Have a lovely day out there. I indeed will enjoy the stars. I hope you enjoy the stars in the real world. All right. Well, we'll scan all this stuff. Well, maybe not all of it. We'll scan a lot of this stuff, and then we'll make our way up there. And then we'll go to Lethia. The long-awaited Lethia. I'm going to drop a few hundred of these so I don't have to do it every time. <laughs> Excuse me. That's just the allergies kicking up a little bit. If I go into my backyard, I just get a little allergies, so that's fine. <clears throat> Let me sip this tea. A little bit, a little bit of tea tends to help. It was way too hot. I wanted to sip it because my throat was rough from from like the the sneeze, but that was way too hot. I kind of slurped. I don't know if it, if it made noise on the mic, but I was like slurping the tea. I didn't really sip. Okay, and what is this? It's another probe. I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll keep taking them, like I was saying. Ah, I didn't mean to, I didn't know there was a fight. And also, what is this? A keeper? You're from Secrets? That's cool. I've never seen that before. I mean, because we've never done Secrets before, of course, but um, it, it seems cool. I don't know. We'll check it out. <laughs> Dust Keeper? Yeah, we have the Secrets of the Frontiers on. We have this little dude from the, uh, the Dust Keepers... It seems like a cool mod so far, from what I've seen. I don't know too much about it, but it seems pretty interesting. I missed my shot. My one big shot. I missed it. You hate to see it. I absolutely hate to see it. Got some good missile damage in there. Some of them got, got eaten by the, the flares, but we got some shots in. And we do need to go by uh, Tritac as well in Hybersil to get um uh, the tri the tactical lasers. We need to go by Hybersil for the 60 tactical lasers we made. Or however many it was. I don't know if it was 60, but we need to go back and pick those up eventually. So we'll do that soon. Next time we're in the Core Worlds, I'll, I'll, I'll try to remember to do that. I can't really promise I'll remember, but I'll try to remember to do that. I want to do that. Hopefully we do. Is that the last enemy? No, there's one dude down there. We'll take him out. He'll die. He'll go down. It's easy enough. Use your tactical capture points and Dusky Fleet and AI waifu. I have heard. I please no spoilers for the the the, the secret stuff because I have heard there's there's like characters in there, like proper characters, um, and like lore and stuff. So, um, I don't want to know too much about it, but I'm excited for it. I am excited for it. Do you use wolves or is it on the meta right now? Wolves. I'll spoil. It. Okay, thank you. Um, oh, like, like the, the frigate wolf, like little wolves. Um, I've never used them. Like, I don't really like them, but, uh, like that's just a personal thing. I think they're good. I think, I think they do get used from time to time. I didn't, I wasn't going to fight, man. I just, I'm auto clicking. I don't want to fight these guys. Um, but I do think they get a, a pretty fair amount of use. I don't really like them, but I don't like many frigates. I'm of the opinion, if you're using a frigate and it's not a monitor, you should have a really, really good reason. The monitor is so, so strong, so. Generally, for the frigate class ships that I have, you know, available in my fleets, I just pop a monitor in there. Um, so I don't use the wolves too much, but I don't think that's, uh, like a generally agreed upon consensus. I think a lot of people do use wolves and then like them pretty well. Okay, um, that guy's just literally as fast as me. It's so annoying. I can't catch him. Wolves haven't been meta for a while. Oh, okay, so yeah, maybe they're not not so good. I don't know. Um, I, I, I think I've seen them used a fair bit, though. I don't think they're terrible, but it's just tough to beat a monitor. Even even though they nerfed the monitor on this patch, it's tough to beat them still. They're so, so good. There's just very few other ships that can provide the same amount of, like, battlefield, you know, pressure as a monitor. It, 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 it interacts with the battlefield in a way that almost no other frigates can do, so... I like it quite a lot. Hippus and Scarabs are more matter, more more meta. 
And didn't they like buff the Tempest recently too? I feel like there was some change to the Tempest recently that I thought was fog. Also, I didn't mean to send the ship in. I'm just now realizing this guy is not supposed to be on the battlefield. Um, he's just here, he doesn't have weapons. Like he hasn't been kitted out, I picked him up and then he's just been floating around, so that's no good. But whatever, it's, it's fine, but he didn't die and stuff, so it's fine, but he's not supposed to be on the field at all. That was unintentional. Domain era probe, sure. Habitable world and all that stuff doesn't matter to me. Oh, we should double loot. I almost didn't. I'm, I'm doing decent about the double looting today. I'm almost forgetting like every time, but I'm remembering at the last moment, which is good enough. Remembering at the last moment's fine. Are they more rare and expensive? Yeah. Tempests, uh, not Tempests, excuse me, Scarabs in particular, I believe are rather rare. I believe the Scarabs are, are pretty, pretty infrequent. You don't find too many of them. And I don't use them much, but again, um, that's because I love the monitors. I think the Scarabs are, are solid. I gotta stop spamming. I don't want to fight these guys. I just don't want to. Uh, but I keep spamming, so we keep fighting them. And omens are great. I do think omens and afflictors are really good. The phase frigates have a, a definite place in the fleet, for sure. I think the afflictors are like really good. They 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 multiply the the power of like your whole fleet in a way that um, you know not not many other ships can. Not many ships can can you know just make enemy ships take thirty percent more damage. So. I do really like the afflictors. Meet me and the Heron can take on these guys together. Not, not perfectly well, but we can. We can get the job done eventually. I'm gonna overload. Let me run away. Okay, we're not, we're not doing too bad. We're not overloaded yet. Also, what is this fighter? This thing's like insane. It's kind of putting on some real pressure for just being a fighter. It was kind of scary. Omens aren't the face forget. They're the ones with the EMP emitter. Oh, yeah. Oh, my bad. My bad. Okay. Omens are sick. I think omens, especially with a specific build, can be really good. Um, I, I, the omens do the same thing that the shock repeaters do in that they, they, the, the range of it is scaled from point defense weapon range. So you can get, you can make the omens ship system like a thousand range. Um, you can make them do their, their EMP from really far away. So I agree with that. I guess now that we're talking about it, there's a fair few different frigates that I, that I do respect. Initially, I was like, it's monitor or nothing, but there's some other ones that I do actually like well enough. And these are worth more than these? Yeah, not by much. I mean, actually, it's by a fair bit. It's by like 60% more or something, so. Numerically, it's not a huge change. It's only 20 credits per, but percentage-wise, it's a, it's a significant change, so. It's worth doing for sure. But yeah, omens are pretty pog. Even if you don't do the, the psycho super long range uh, like ship system thing on the omens, just having the EMP system is good. It's a good system to have. Not a bad world. Not a bad world at all. Again, if this had some stable locations, I might want to live here. Even without them, I'm kind of like, the system's kind of calling to me. We might colonize here. Cryo sleeper too? I mean, like, you know, dude, we're like, there's some good reasons to live here. We could build a stable location in the star, too. I could, like, create one. Um, maybe two, but at least one. So, I, you know, maybe. It's got it's got some stuff going for it. Not everything. It's not perfect, but it's got some stuff going for it. Now, let's see the survey ship. You have ashes that remain? Nope. No ashes. No ashes. Maybe on the next one, but not on this one. Hmm. I don't know how scary this is. What is it? It's a cruiser. Hmm. <laughs> I think we can win this. You don't want to fight that cryo sleeper? Oh, wait, the ashes make it a lot tougher. I'm not gonna fight it right now either way. But um, I didn't know ashes made them tougher. If so, that's cool. So we'll fight this. I'm a little scared, but only very slightly. We should be fine. But I've 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 said no to ashes a lot of times. But I think on the next playthrough we might have it. Since you can carry them around. You can carry them? You can move them in ashes? That's really cool. I knew you could do a lot of stuff with them. I didn't know you could move them. Though. That's that's quite pog. I will I will land a shot eventually. Okay, 
Okay, I can't sit in front of that guy. I'm pretty sure if I sit in front of this this enemy here, he will kill me. So I, I gotta run away from him. Like I just I just don't think I win that battle. I think he was ramming into this guy like over and over and doing damage to him, which is kind of good for me. He doesn't have armor to be fair, so I can I can slowly pepper down his armor. And I think I outrange him like slightly, so we might be able to kill this guy. Please kill this thing. Okay, let's go, let's go. My heron was just getting really trolled by the, the dudes there, so killing that thing helps the heron out quite a lot. I assume the rest of the fleet is fine. Like, I assume everything up there is going okay. This was the only enemy I was scared about when we were fighting him down here. So the rest of the fleet should be chilling. And if it's not, then we'll, we'll get it sorted eventually. Oh, I should use my high energy focus. I wasn't using it at all. I used it, like, once this whole battle. Okay, not bad. We killed the Cavalier. Or Cavalier. Excuse me, the Cavalier. The Cavalier. Not not bad at all. Let's go back to 2x speed. And this was a survey ship. They have good loot. Survey ships can become Pog. It becomes your fleet. That's very cool. Wish you could recover the Guardian without mods. Oh, wait. When you said since you can carry them around, did you mean the Cryo Sleeper you get to carry around? Or the Guardian? I didn't realize you could carry the Guardian around. That's cool as hell. That's very cool. Um, oh, the cryo sleeper you can move to? Okay, okay. Oh, okay, so you, you you cannot just move the guardian. It's the whole cryo. Okay, fair enough. But yeah, we might have ashes for the next one. It's been it's been requested a lot, and I've been pretty resistant to it, so I think maybe it's time to, to bring it on in. Really? This is my survey ship loot? Like, are you sure? You don't want to check again? I got scammed. That was That was nothing. I was expecting a lot more than that. A single beta core is not not typical survey or typical survey ship loot. Um, maybe there's one more for the battle, one more floor loot. Yeah, yeah, one for the battle, one for the uh, for the the, the the station or whatever. Um, all right, if if you say so, man. I guess. So that was that was a lot of hype for the uh, survey ship for it to not be that awesome, but it's okay. We did level. Um. Hmm. <laughs> I want this for the extra officers. Oh, no, it's this one for the extra officers. I think that's very pog. Going up to 10 officers can be very, very sick. Um, I did, with 10 officers, I'll feel more comfortable putting a couple on frigates and, and then the four on destroyers that I want. Like, I could have me, three capitals, and a cruiser. Um, and then and then we still have room for four destroyers and two frigates with captains on them. Captains on everything, so I really like that skill. Um, I don't know if I want to commit to fighters right now, so I'm just going to do this because I can commit to doing damage. I, I'm sure that I will want to do damage, so that's fine. And the next skill will be this one. And then we'll, I don't think we're going to take this because I don't know how it works, so we'll take this instead. And this is going to be pog for um, all my ships without captains, which does mean like, well, you have 10 captains already. Like, you know, don't, isn't that like a little counterintuitive or whatever? But yeah, it does mean some of the ships will, will be like the skill we wasted on, but that's fine. And we have enough battle size that we should be able to send in a large number of ships, so the, the uncaptained ships should get some time in the sun. All right, we'll loot it. We'll loot the floor loot, and we'll drop off the extra stuff, and we'll go make some money now, because we're down to 274. So during this whole experience, we went from around 350 to 274. So let's see if we can't turn in the quests uh, back at Galactia. Um, yeah, there's three to turn in. That's good money. We can turn in all the quests, and we can sell our stuff, and we'll make a little bit of cash. We didn't make that much money from this whole journey, but we made a little bit of money. And we, we found a lot of stuff. Like, we found colony items, weapons, and stuff, so I'm okay with it. And I got to remember, or I got to remember, I need to remember to um, not sell my survey data. That is, that is something I'm going to have to try to keep at the front of my mind, because I sell it constantly. I always, always, always sell survey data, so... I got to remember to keep that, you know, in, in, in storage, not sold. No need to sell it. 
and I've been meaning to say hello to the lurkers twice a day now instead of just once, once in the morning and once in the afternoon. So this is my afternoon hello. How you doing, lurkers? If you're here lurking and I haven't said hello to you, thank you for being here. This is me saying hello to you. Hope you're well today. I'm gonna sip some tea as we approach. Hey, first time chatter, Bob Lightyear. How you doing? Welcome in, Bob. How you be, Bob? Hope you're well today. Always do see the nearly. Uh, I always do sell the nearly worthless survey data. Do they not want the, the the cheap survey data at um at at the 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 shop the the key card shop? Do they is the sur the cheap survey data not very good over there? I'll probably still hold on to it. But I used to sell everything, but if there's a special shop, I'll hold on and sell it sell it there. Um, and we'll just sell some of these because we can. And we have 13 of these. That's a lot. We can make good money off that. That's three, four hundred thousand dollars. That's good stuff. So actually, it should be good money. Which selling those should should really equate to good cash. So go to storage, ship weapons, put all these away. Okay, and then let's let's make the cordite better. Did you get key card points from turning survey day and data and key card? Oh, okay, yeah. So so the um. The low ones are just not worth as much. They're like probably worth like one point, and these are worth like thirty points. So that is indeed not not very much, but I'll still hold on to them. Might as well get all the points I, I can, you know. Now it's more than that. Oh, okay, well, regardless of, of whether it's one or thirty, um, you know, it's like I don't know the, the specific numbers, but um, just relative to each other, this one's just a lot less. But that's fine. It's fine. And if it's if it's better than one thirtieth of the total value, then it's better to turn it in for for points than money. Because um, this is one thirtieth of the value for money, so if it's better a ratio at points, then it's it's good to keep. And we could buy these back in theory, but then I'm paying taxes and stuff. Like I don't I don't want to buy them back. Maybe in the future, but not for now. Okay, we have three hundred grand. Um, do I want? Oh, yeah. I was like, do I want to do anything while I'm here? I do. I want to fix up these ships. This one we'll make, and then we will we'll fix up the cordite because I don't love it. It's not how I want it to be. So um, just 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 live your life. Can I make you as a sniper? Yeah. Sure, snipe it up then. This is okay. Live your life. That's fine. Um, this is this is pretty much like how I want this built, so I'm okay with that. You can just use points to buy fuel and supplies too. It comes with bundles. That's pog. That's really cool. I would not have guessed that. That is really really cool. Um, you know, 550 range, good damage, maybe, maybe. Yeah, I'm thinking so. What, could, what, what does this thing do? Long range, decent fire rate, suitable for specing shields. Deals, yeah, it does extra damage to shields. Okay. Let's just try the Hell Spitter. And then... Um, mm, yeah? I'm thinking. I'm thinking maybe. This does have charges, though. You don't. I would, I would prefer something that doesn't have charges. But I think I'm going to let this auto-fire. What is this the based ion dispenser? Oh, is this is this the the snowball? Is this the snowballer? I think it is. I like the snowballer pretty well. I think it's a cool weapon. I don't know if we want it here, but I do like the snowballer. What is this? Low energy blaster variant that was trimmed for efficiency overall output falls below even pulse laser weaponry. It can still boast decent armor penetration characteristics at a low overhead. Okay, so it's just a it's a weak laser, but it's cheap. Anti armor point defense. Target missiles with no reference are in range. Hmm, that's cool. Okay. I don't know, maybe, I guess. What could I put over here? Do I have anything over here that I could that has like ammo that I could match it with? No. No, it seems the answer to that is no. Hmm. Starting up the star sector time. What's up? What's up, Winter? Something exciting happened? No need to be sorry. I come bearing news. What is this news? Uh, how's your clothes uh, entire clip? Requires expanded magazine, street sustained DPS, normal DPS is 200. That's fine with me. I don't know, man. I can't figure out what weapon I want in there. We could go heavy blaster. Heavy blaster plus this thing is like a lot of flux, but it should hit pretty hard. And then I want point defense in here. I'll do a long range laser there, and then smaller range lasers back here. You stone shard devlog is out. Ooh! That's, is, does it say anything like in relation to when the game's gonna get released, like the, the update? Does it by chance say something about the update? 
I still have Stone Shard installed. They say we'll talk about traveling. Okay. I wouldn't mind looking at that at the end of stream today. Um, we can we can check that out. Let's remember to do so. It was officially announced. Rimworld Anomaly. Let's go, dude. That's so cool. It's about the caravan upgrade. Nothing notably traveling. Okay. Um, I'm very excited for the, the Rimworld DLC. I'll be looking at that too. We'll definitely be looking at that. So these need to go together. Oh wait, I didn't put any missiles on here. I I, I emptied the missile slots and forgot. Let me lower that. Um, we have eight points here. If I if I want to fit like just just one missile over here, it's eight points. I only have eight points. I'll put a Reaper on here, and um, that's it. I'm just gonna put the Reaper and leave that open because I need the Flux. I think so. We we can use the Hell Spitter and the Heavy Blaster to power through their shields, and then the Reaper should uh, finish them off. Nope, nope, that needs to go here. That's my bad. Okay, so this should be all right. And Hell Splitter plus Heavy Blaster under high energy focus? That sounds like something that's going to do some damage. I don't know why I'm searching so desperately for a ship to fight. Just here, fight this thing. Sure, that's fine. Chance you do trademark react any for the devlog? Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely down for that. I believe we will indeed. The, fire, the firing being like a little off is like annoying to me, but whatever. It's not a huge deal. I don't know if I can just like fight a Yari like this and win. It looks like I can. Eh, maybe not, maybe not. We're suffering a little. I overloaded because I raised my shields. This is a better loadout. I would definitely say this appears to be a better loadout than the other one. Remember, I'll definitely check the VOD. Good night, and, uh, good night, Quist and chat. Alrighty, Winter, I'll see ya. I'll see ya around. And I will try to remember, I'm bad about that. That's, that stops me from doing a lot of them, is not remembering to do it. YBB bounty. Um, but with, uh, alongside the um, the announcement for the for the Rimworld DLC, did they talk about what it is, or did they just announce there's a DLC? Uh, instead of having timid pilots, oh wait, wait, will result in them having timid pilots rather than fragile mounts? No. Wait, let me make sure. We have, yeah, we have fragile mounts now. That's fine. I don't want timid pilots. I mean, tra Fragile Mounts isn't good either, but Timid Pilots is worse, so I don't want that. The storage, we'll put these doodads away. And I guess I can put these guys away too. I don't need to carry them around with me. Mm, I bet I pay a lot if they're in storage. Let me actually take those out. Just get bored. Okay, and speaking of paying a lot for storage, why am I paying 6k a month? Is it just what I'm paying for all this stuff? I guess it's just adding up. If that's what it is, then that sucks, but it is what it is. Okay. Um, let's get out of here. Let's go. Let's go sell these. Go to the core world, turn our quests in, and then maybe have some good money. Wait, why do I have a quest here? Oh, midnight. Uh, hand over the cores. I forgot. I forgot we had those. Cool. Uh, midnight. Do you have a job for me? Potential supply of remnant ships. I didn't know you could do this right away. I can get the pr the the timeless from here. That's cool. And a Ryzen? Huh? Oh, did I click my own blueprints? I clicked my own blueprints. I was like, why is she selling me that stuff? That doesn't make any sense, but that's why. Observation package. Mm. Where's it at? Spice out of that package, observe stealth. Mm. We have to do missions for her eventually, but those are really annoying, so I don't want to do it. We'll just leave it alone. Is there anything to do with the people here? Can I like, Can I get any jobs from y'all or anything? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think I don't think uh, uh, the Casador House has anything for me. The Great House does anything. Oh, that's the Aim representative. Administer. Yeah, there's there's no jobs here. That's fine. So let's let's go home. And again, by home I mean to Tritech. By home, of course, I mean to Tritech. Um, is there a nearby black hole I can yeet myself off of? Black pulsar. Probably heavy. I'm going to assume this is very heavy in terms of slip surging. So let's check. Neutron stars work. So I'm assuming this is just going to be counted as a neutron star. What's, what's the uh for? The, uh, don't enter though? Oh, I've already entered. I actually have already been in there. We popped in and uh, saw that it was scary and left. I, I walked in, wasted a story point, and walked right back out. Yeah, it, it is indeed a little a little spooky for me. 
But we'll check it out eventually. We'll, we'll go back in there someday. So can I slip surge off you? Yes, you can, Pog. You can surge if you want to. You can leave your friends behind. If those friends don't surge, then they're not friends of mine. I don't know how this song goes. I was trying to sing it, and I was like, I'm missing words. I'm not going with the beat. There's, there's, there was like words added in the, the lines there that, that I did not say. You can dance if you want to. You can leave your friends behind. Yeah, I don't know what I missed. I don't know. I was not on the beat, though. I did something wrong. My brain broke. All right. So we're going to go here and make all our money and go up to uh, Tritac and make the rest of the money and then maybe colonize something. And I probably want to colonize that world out by Kassadar because they're friends with me, so I can do that. They won't hate me for it, I think. Um, and it's a good world. Like, it's it's kind of foggy, so maybe. And I can I can make my... I can get another industry if I colonize where my thing is, so... Like, if I colonize where the, um... Where the, the settlement is, we could, we could build another industry there, so... I wouldn't be opposed to making my planet out here. And then if we get attacked, the, we, the Kassadar would help me. The Kassadar would defend my ships, so... It's not great, like, it's not perfect, but... It does, uh, we do have soil nanites. Well, we don't have them, but we could put soil nanites here is what I mean. Because it doesn't have rare ore or anything, so. It's, it's fine. I can, I can work with it. 175 hazard rating kind of sucks, but we should still make money off the farming. So. Oh, I don't, I don't go there. I go to Pontus. Gotta go straight in near Galactia. So I think we'll start, start colonizing soon. And I, I, I kind of didn't want to, but without a com, without a commission, like, I can't make any money. Like, I don't know how to make it work. Without a commission, it's just really rough. How much did you pay me? 102? Sure. VIP transport. Yep. Kidnapped researcher. researcher. Yep. Okay, so we got to make sure to do the, the VIP transport right away. And colonizing the same system as Castle gives a debuff? To, to who? And is it like a specifically related to Cassador? Or is it Or is it just colonizing in a system that someone else is colonized in? Because um, I know you can't colonize in systems with like other other factions, but I thought the independence would be free of that. I assumed because Cassadar was an independent, that wouldn't happen. But maybe they've been given their own special debuff to, to eliminate that. Is there anything where you colonize in the same system as other factions? Okay. I I started as Cassadari, so I'm hoping I can get away with it. Like because I I like I chose the start as their like my background is with them. Personal, like an unknown. Oh, I don't know, man. I don't know. Yeah, I thought I thought maybe there'd be something there. So, and it still count if I remember clearly. Oh, okay, so yeah, maybe I can't live there then. There is that other world with all the systems, or the other system with all the worlds in it that could be Pog. I don't know, man. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Real quickly, Nia had it so you couldn't just use them as free good planets. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. So it's 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 built intentionally so that they're not just free Pog planets. All right. Well, if that's if that's intentionally like that, then I won't. 18 supplies for 13 heavy armaments. Literally no one cares, so sure. Because it gives me a, a contact, possibly. Like, why not? That's that's the, like, literally, why would you even offer that? That's the world's smallest trade. Um, And we'll buy some ships, maybe. Dominator's not bad. I would much prefer a class 14 Dominator, though. Just knowing that a class 14 Dominator exists makes me not want to buy that one. Because, like, why would I buy the one that's not as good as the better one? So we'll take our money and then maybe go back to exploring with it to look for a system. Because I really want a system with a jump point. Or three, rather. Not not just one, but three. Specifically, three jump points is, is valuable. One, one for the... Uh, what are they? Wormhole? One for the wormhole. One for a gate, if there's not a gate. And then one for the com relay. So two, two, two uh, uh, stable points plus a gate or three stable points is what I really want to go after. My dog is still crying at me. I might, I might, I might have to go take him again. I don't, I really don't think he needs to go, but I just can't, I can't handle it when he cries. It hurts my soul. So I think, I think we will AFK once more. It's a little annoying because he's just trolling me, but we'll go take him. So I'll go to cool on and then we'll AFK once more, I believe. So again, sorry about having to AFK so much today. Um, that's never Pog, but he needs to be taken care of. So I will I will go AFK once more, hopefully for the last time. So BRB in just a moment. Hey everybody, Quist Gaming here. If you're enjoying the content, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. It truly makes a difference. Thanks for listening, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.